Hey everybody. Hello everybody. Hey everybody. It's Brock. This is Brock. And we got a new episode with another episode of All About. Of All About. All About. What's up everybody? It's Brock and we got a brand new episode of All About today. Today we are learning about the Lightning Maroon Clown. These guys are awesome. Prices on them? The prices have definitely gone down since the first time we started getting them. I remember the first time we got one, it was $150. Online, the prices I'm seeing are about a hundred dollars, and then the last one we got in the store, which was just a couple weeks ago, and he was only sixty. It really surprised me on how much their price has gone down. Tank size, you need about a thirty gallon. Care level, they're really easy. Temper, they can be semi-aggressive. Reef compatible, yes. Temperature, keep it seventy-two to seventy-eight. DKH, eight to twelve. pH, eight point one to eight point four, and your salinity, one point oh two oh to one point oh two five. Diet, they are omnivore. Make sure you're feeding them anything from pellets. I know they love some pellets. Mysis and brine in the little cubes, they love that. And they're normally a meaty diet, but they can eat algae too. Max size, everywhere online says they can get half a foot long. I have never seen a clownfish get that long. Maybe in the wild they do. But biggest ones I've seen are like three to four inches, and they're like four and five years old. So they're pretty old whenever they get that big. Compatibility, just ask. You can pair up maroons together. I've tried it one time before and they ended up fighting each other to the death so I did have to split them up. But I've seen other people do it just fine. One good thing about these guys is they can be without a pair. You don't have to get a pair. Color, they are maroon with that really cool design with the white stripes going down them. Makes it look like some lightning just struck them. And they can eventually change to gold. Origin, they are captive bred all over. They do not ever catch these guys in the wild they somehow genetically created this design on them they are a very hardy clownfish so people that are beginners these are a real good one to get and if you're experienced these are also a really cool one to get because they are not like your everyday clownfish if you do want him to adapt and get in an anemone i would recommend getting a rose bulb anemone they come in a bunch of different colors but for some reason those we have the best luck at the shop uh they don't have to have an anemone you can they will do just fine without one they do seem to be a much happier though with an anemone it's really cool to see that bond with them these guys can be very territorial especially if they have an anemone i've seen my clownfish kill fish because they got near its anemone so definitely watch out for that and of course if you do get a pair the female is the larger one that's pretty much all you need to know about the lightning maroon clown he is very hardy, he is a great beginner fish, and he doesn't have to have that anemone. So I hope you all all have a good day. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on different social medias so we can stay in touch, and I will see you all later. We just hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you all so much. I love you all. I can't thank you all enough from that. All started out with me just working in the fish store with an idea to let everyone know how to take care of some fish and here we are a thousand deep and it feels great so to celebrate for the whole month of june every single day i'm gonna put out a new episode of all about about some kind of fish some kind of crustacean maybe different things on how to take care of stuff but just either way every single day you're going to be getting a video from me and it's going to be awesome maybe even more videos so here we go, stay tuned. Here comes celebrating a thousand subscribers.